Today, I'm gonna to show you how to build this modern approach to a photo gallery, fully equipped with smooth scroll and scroll activated animations. Now, when compared to the stripped down version, it's just not as impressive and as nice and fun to use. So the tools of choice for this tutorial are Lenis, which is a new smooth scroll solution, and the Greensock animation platform, along with their scroll trigger plugin. So let's buckle up and get started. The HTML for this is very straightforward. We're going to first create a section to create the two vertical lines, which serve as sort of tracks that the photographs will stay along. And then the HTML for the actual photographs themselves, and we'll be using CSS background images to place those images. This is the first rule set, which is a rule set that the smooth scroll library Lenis suggests placing. After that, we'll take our sections and convert them to an equal width three column grid. Then we'll give our actual gallery section a height of 200 viewport heights in order to make our gallery larger. Now for our individual images, we're going to give them position relative so that we can use a pseudo before element to continue those vertical lines with position absolute in a second. Then we'll use the nth of type to place each individual background image. And here's that bit for placing the two vertical lines. And finally, here's the line class. Now for the JavaScript, first we need to import Linus, and then we'll import Greensock, and then finally we'll import Greensock Scroll Trigger plugin. Now first we need to register the Scroll Trigger plugin from GSAP. Then we'll create an instance of Linus. Now it comes with a bunch of options, so I suggest just checking out their docs. Now these next two bits are Linus boilerplate for getting the smooth scroll up and running. Now at this point, this is what your project should look like. Now, the last part involves Greensock and Scroll Trigger. First, we create an instance of the timeline and then define the Scroll Trigger on the image class. This means that the animations we define in Greensock will only activate once the images come into the viewport. We also set Scrub to True, which allows the animations to only take place based on the scroll position. Now, we define the animation with the Two method. Setting a stagger will create a stagger animation with 0.2 seconds between each image moving up on the Y axis by 700 pixels. We'll also set the scrub to true here as well. And that's it folks. Here's the final product. All of the source code is available in the YouTube description here. So check it out. Let me know your thoughts. Of course, like, leave a comment, all that good stuff. And I'll see you soon. By the way, if you want to level up your UI UX skills or your CSS skills, check out designcourse.com, my new custom interactive platform for becoming all things awesome.